Hello and welcome to UkraMedia.com. My name is Sergei Praknevsky and today's daily tip is minimum and maximum method. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. All right, so we are in After Effects and let me show you what we're going to be creating in this example. So right now I have these two columns. Watch what happens when I grab this blue one here. If I push it forward, it's going to grab this line and push it with it. So as soon as it becomes bigger than the other one, but when it becomes smaller than the other one, it loses it. And the same thing applies for the green one as well. So that's kind of cool. I'm going to show you how to set this up. And we also have this option to basically swap. Instead of taking the highest value, grab the lowest column. So if you check this, it's going to follow only the lowest column. So as soon as this blue becomes bigger than the green one, it's going to swap. So it's going to stay with the green one. So I'm going to show you how to set this up, but I'm not going to show you how to create everything in this tutorial. So if you want the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip 39. So let's get to it. So the first thing I'm going to do is select this orange line right here. And next, I'm going to hit P on my keyboard to reveal the position property. And as you can see, it does have the expression there. So I can't really grab this. You know, it's kind of locked in. So I'm going to get rid of it by holding alt click on the stopwatch here. And now it's gone. So I can freely move it around. And as you can see, this text here, it moves with my line here because it's parented to it. So I'm going to all click on stopwatch here and I'm going to set some variables next. So I'm going to say swap. You're going to be that checkbox right here. And then column A, you're going to be this slider right here. And column B, you're going to be that slider right here. Okay, so we have our variables and next let's do our expression here. So I'm going to say X, you're going to be math period max. And basically what this method does, so whatever I put inside these parentheses, it's going to give me the highest number. Let's say, what if I put like five numbers? It's going to give me the highest number of those five numbers. So what I want to do for this example here, I want the highest number between column A and column B. So inside here, I'm going to say column A, column B. B. So I'm saying, give me the highest number between these two. Okay. And for the Y, I'm just going to say, grab the current value. So I'm going to say value index one. Okay. And in here, I'm going to set X to be X, Y to be Y. And there you have it. It is working. And if I move it around, it's doing exactly what I wanted to do. But how do I make it happen to where it stays with the lowest number instead of the highest? So instead of maximal here, I'm going to say minimal. So if I let go of that, you can see that it snaps to the minimal number here. And then if I move this up, it's going to snap back to the minimal number here. So if that one becomes smaller, it's going to pick that one back up again. So that's cool. But how do we set up this switch here? So when I check this, I want it to be minimal. And when I uncheck it, I want it to be maximal. So how do I make that happen? Okay, so now it's set to minimal. And I'm going to say if... And I say swap, which is that checkbox right here. If that checkbox is true, you know, if it's checked, I want it to be this expression here. And this one is the minimal. So I guess when it's checked, it's going to be minimal. And if it's not checked, it's going to be maximal. So I'm going to say else. I, I'll just copy this, the whole thing here. And I'll paste it in here. So I'm going to say, and if it's not checked, I want it to be maximal. All right, now let's see if this works. As you can see right now, it's not checked, so it's maximal number. But if it is checked, it's going to be minimal. And as you can see, it's working well for us. All right, thank you so much for watching this quick tip. I really hope you found it useful. And if you have, make sure you like this video, share it, subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media. And if you would like to have the project file of this tutorial, you can download it at ukramedia.com slash tip 39. But until next time, my name is Sergei Praknevsky and this is ukramedia.com.